Today's vlog is brought to you by CruiseLine.com where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real, everyday cruisers. Started. We are back on the back of the ship. We had the whole place to ourselves up until 30 seconds ago. Everybody's gone ashore and we are listening to some crazy storm clouds over here. I'm hearing massive amounts of thunder. So we're going to go get Junior Editor and head to Mr. Sancho's for the day. Dock today at Playa Langosta. No, it's Punta Langosta. Is it right? Punta Langosta? Okay, we docked at Punta Langosta and it started to pour as soon as we were walking through. We got a little bit confused about where to go because there's a transportation line that looks like it's for taxis, but according to our wonderful taxi driver here, that is just for buses and tours. So if you're coming into Punta Langosta, make sure that you look for a nice cab driver and a white shirt and they will help you to get out of the shopping area and into a cab. So anyway, not sure about this rain. We'll see how it goes. We're going to do a beach day, so hopefully it will die down just a teeny tiny bit. Stop just in time for our arrival to Mr. Sancho's. It's a busy day here. There's several ships in port, but according to our waiter, Tio, who is an absolute gentleman, by the way, it is not the busiest day that it could possibly be. So husband and son are gonna go jump in the water. There's a little water park behind me here that we got wristbands for. I believe this is 12 extra dollars in addition to your all-inclusive pass, and they're gonna go get refreshed. If you are cruising to the Caribbean in July or August, I can tell you the water is so warm. That's been one of the perks of this cruise is that the water is warm everywhere. It's been so nice. So yeah, boys are gonna jump in the water and we're going to get settled in and relax and get our toes nice and sandy.
you so you. much. Chicken tacos. Chicken tacos. Yeah. Quesadillas. Quesadillas. guacamole. Coconut shrimps. Alright. Okay. Thank you so much. left Mr. Sancho's at about 3.30 and got back to the ship around 4, 4.15. Plenty of time to spare for our 5.30 all aboard time. We had an amazing day. Mr. Sancho's is something we could probably do a whole episode about in and of itself, but it's a lot of fun for families with really adventuresome kids. It's really fun if you wanna go and have an all-inclusive experience and drink a lot and eat a lot and just be at the beach. It's about, I think they hold about, didn't the guy say about 500 people there? Whereas Nachi Cocon that we always talk about holds about 200 people. So it's definitely a different experience. It just started to rain on me. <laughs> That's why I didn't do my hair because it's totally raining. Anyway, we're pulling out of Cozumel right now and headed out to sea tomorrow. We're so ready for a relaxing sea day. It's gonna be so nice to sleep in a little bit and not have to pack our shore bag. Just really enjoy the ship. So looking forward to that. Now for dinner, we are actually going back to Ocean K where we went last night. It was so exceptionally good that we decided to book it again the next day. I really can't wait to have that crab appetizer for a second time. It was so delicious. It was worth all the cracking work that you know, you have to go through when you're eating crabs. So that is where we're off to um, right now. It is about, gosh, it's about uh, quarter till seven. And I have a feeling that this family is probably going to need to go to bed pretty early tonight because we were up and at them early again today and my son was a beast in the water. He was all over the water park, the Aqua Venture Park there at Mr. Sanchez. So I have a feeling it'll be early to bed. So it's off to dinner for us. All right, we're back at Ocean K. If you dine here, the dining experience is $50 and you get to choose one item from each area of the menu. The first dive, which is appetizers, the sea, main courses, and dive deeper. Dinner 
water and service in Ocean K was just as good tonight as it was last night. And we are back in the cabin at nine o'clock. This is our earliest night so far on the cruise. I think all the fun is catching up with us. And for the first time in, I can't even remember when, my son actually said at dinner, mom, I wanna go back to the room. I wanna get in bed. So he is watching cartoons and we are going to sign off and say goodnight. Tomorrow is a wonderful sea day for us. We are going to be doing a lot of cool things. I'm getting my hair cut and styled in the salon. And then I'm having a 45 minute massage and hopefully I'll be checking out the thermal suite as well. We also have a show reservation tomorrow night. Probably aren't allowed to film that, but we'll tell you all about it when we get home if we're not able to capture any imagery or film of that. But today was a wonderful day on board MSC Seaside and the staff was ever so hospitable and warm and wonderful and we're just so happy to be spending two more days on the ship. So be sure to join us tomorrow for our Sea Day vlog and catch up on the whole series if you haven't already. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a like and leave your MSC Seaside experiences in the comments below. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. It's totally thundering, you guys, outside right now. Like thunder, lightning. When the thunder rumbles, it sounds like someone's like moving massive chairs above you. It's just really cool. The rain is coming down in sheets. <laughs>